Hey everybody, welcome to the best apps for Apple Watch video. In this video, I'm going to go over some of what I think are the best third-party apps you can get for your Apple Watch right now. Most of these I use often, if not daily, and find really helpful. I'll make sure to leave links in the description below so you can check these out for yourself if you haven't already. The first app I like to talk about is the Weather Network app. I use this all the time to check the weather on my Apple Watch. It's a Canadian app that I've had a great experience with and found the layout to be both pretty and user friendly. However, I'm not 100% sure how well it works outside of Canada. So with that in mind, another weather app I use sometimes on my Apple Watch is the AccuWeather app. I don't like the layout of the AccuWeather app as much, but it does the trick. The only downside I've found is that it's not as accurate to local weather conditions here in Toronto, where I live, as the Weather Network app. Both apps offer Apple Watch complications that look pretty good and deliver similar data sets. However, I've always found using data-heavy complications seems to reduce the battery life of my Apple Watch, so I don't usually use them. I just keep one weather app in my Apple Watch's dock for quick lookup instead. I found that to be a great trade-off for convenience versus battery life. The next app I want to talk about is the Calculator, big basic calculator app. It's a nice iPhone app as well, but I really love the Apple Watch app. It's just nice, simple, and very responsive. I found a number of Apple Watch calculator apps to have really small buttons and way too many options for my needs, which makes typos happen too often to make them useful. But with this calculator app, I found I make few if any typos. I think it's because it has slightly bigger buttons than the others I've tried. Plus, I like how it makes your watch vibe with every button press. I find this useful for calculating tips when I'm out for dinner and even use it at work sometimes. Another app I use all the time is a Starbucks app. I know I'm not alone in this, but did you know the iPhone Starbucks app has an Apple Watch app that lets you see the balance of your Starbucks card and how many stars you have? And it even lets you pay for your Starbucks order with your Apple Watch. This has been so handy. I do use mobile order and pay most of the time nowadays, but whenever I do stand in line and pay, I find using my Apple Watch super handy. Not having to pull my phone out of my pocket every time is so helpful, especially with this super cold weather right now. With the Starbucks Apple Watch app, you can even reload your Starbucks card when it's running low. Super handy. The next Apple Watch app I'm going to share with you I don't use daily, but I do use at least once or twice a week. Wonderlist. I mostly use Wonderlist to create grocery and or shopping lists, but sometimes I make lists for different activities like what to pack for weekend trips. I find using the Apple Watch app for Wonderlist is handy in the grocery store. It lets you interact with the list and check the items off as you put them in the cart without the need to pull your iPhone out of your pocket and carry it around, keeping your hands free for shopping. I mostly add the list items on my iPhone, but you can add items using Siri through the Apple Watch app. I just don't find it as comfortable. But as list apps go, I find the Wonderlist Apple Watch app to be the best and easiest I've used so far. The last Apple Watch app I'm going to talk about today is Shazam. I know it's not overly groundbreaking, and most know what it is, but I've been surprised to find out that most don't know Shazam has a watch app as well. It's not something I use every day, but it's great if you're out at a nightclub or at the gym and want to find out what song is playing. I've lost count of the amount of new music I found this way. I find it super helpful. Well everybody, those were some of the best apps for Apple Watch that I've come across. Do you have any that I missed? If so, let us know in the comments below, so we can try it out. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.